Hello, my name is Jeff Hunt and today I'm going to do a brief demonstration on this, the standard damp meter, and we're going to look at the scan mode. Uh, the first thing to recognise is that uh, this piece of equipment uh, doesn't actually measure damp or moisture, it measures what's called fringe resistance and what it does is it sends a little signal out into space and either through a solid object and then it turns that into a colour code and some numbers and this particular machine goes from 0 to 999 so let's take a look to see um, how this can be affected by other materials because we've got a situation here that's just hand gel and you can see that that instrument's gone off because this has got moisture in it but let's take a look at another piece of equipment uh, this is a, a Wi-Fi keyboard so let's see what the machine makes of this so nothing on that side so is that dry don't know and on this side very 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 high so is that a high moisture reading nope it's a piece of aluminium so we need to be careful how we use this machine so let's take a look at an example demonstration wall so this is my demonstration wall here um, don't normally measure outside but this is a single brick uh, cement rendered wall with paint on it so the first thing we do is we do a, a sample test to see where it's driest and that's my um, dry zone section so now all my readings are taken from that we don't actually need to look at the actual specific readings themselves so we come down the wall making sure that the pad here is nice and flat against the wall it's not very good to put it against rough surfaces and then we move down and down that's green, that's green, and we've started to go red here and right at the bottom the same. And so then we would like to move across and then up and then up. And you can see that's gone to amber and then that's gone to green and that's gone to green. So these things are extremely fast and they don't damage the wall, which is why they are really preferred by surveyors that are doing uh, residential observation surveys. And again, what we need to do is we take a look at some different zones. So we saw an amber zone over here. We saw a green zone here and a red zone down here. So what we can tell from this instrument is that we've got various different zones. And again, on this wall, the higher zone is at the bottom and so that's where we need to investigate. Just one point here, um, that doesn't mean to say that that's proof of rising damp. We'd need to put a lot more information uh, and uh, observations about the wall and the sources of water before we could draw that specific conclusion. So there we have it, the uh, standard damp meter. I hope that's given you a quick insight into this particular mode on this particular model. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please do like and subscribe. And the links are below. Thank you very much.